Hello, Vicky, Quadra, Channing, Zoe, Erica, Molly, and Francis. Welcome to Economics 240, an introduction to economics. I'm Tim Oslowich. I'll be your instructor, and I look forward to meeting all of you on Saturday. Uh, I apologize if I mispronounced any of your names, but the thing is, you will be able to offer me correction on Saturday morning. So we are going to dive into economics. Uh, we will study both macroeconomics and microeconomics. Macroeconomics is kind of the big picture of economics. It looks at how the entire economy of a region or a nation or even the whole global economy works. So we talk about things like monetary policy and interest rates and things like that. And we'll also do microeconomics, which is how businesses and households and individuals act in an economy. Uh, talk about supply and demand, products, um, marginal revenue, marginal cost, topics, fun topics like that. Uh, economics has been called the dismal science. Uh, and some people would say that it's not very exciting. But economics can really be very useful in our lives because it's not just about money. Economics is ideally about optimizing our lives, about how to work together so that each one of us has the most prosperous, the, the really most high quality life that we can. And economics is the study of how we interact and how we manage those interactions in order to produce a good life for all of us. So it's not just about money. There are several principles in economics uh, that kind of frame the whole discipline, S kind of simple rules of economics. First, we, we say people are motivated by incentives, that we can understand why people will do certain actions, that they have reasons for doing those actions. So for example, if you want to discourage people from smoking, one way to do that is to put high taxes on cigarettes. The higher the taxes on the cigarettes, the less that people will smoke. And you can, you know, you can Google that online and see which states have the highest ta cigarette taxes and see that that does indeed have uh, an effect on how many people smoke. Um, the other thing is, is that we live in a world of scarcity, uh, that there are more people who want things than there are things that we can get our hands on. Uh, Thomas Sowell, a um, Yale economist, had this comment about scarcity. He says, the first lesson of economics is scarcity. There is never enough of anything to satisfy all who want it. The first lesson of politics is to disregard the first lesson of economics. And that's kind of a pithy way of saying that scarcity is a reality and a lot of politicians would like us to believe that it's not, that everybody can have everything that they want. And uh, we know that that's just unfortunately not true. Another principle that we uh, have in economics is that there is nothing that is truly free. That even if something is given to you, there is always uh, an opportunity cost to using it. So say, for example, that you get some free tickets to go to a concert and you say, wow, this is free. There's no cost to this, but the cost is your time. You could have been doing something else with your time rather than going to the concert. So there's always some kind of opportunity cost involved with anything. Nothing is truly free. There's always, another principle is there's always two sides to a transaction that um, when people come together to buy and sell, there's always at least two different perspectives. And what makes sense to the seller might not make sense to the buyer and vice versa. And so they have to come to some kind of agreement in the middle. Uh, another is that there are always unintended effects to our actions. We can't foresee all of the consequences of our actions. Uh, in chaos theory, this is called the butterfly effect. Uh, perhaps you've heard of it, the idea that uh, a butterfly flapping its wings in China could cause a hurricane in the Caribbean if all of the events happen in a certain way. That every, if every, everything, every, every sequence in a certain series of events happens in a certain way, that can happen. That there is a, a, a certain amount of unpredictability to the world and no one is really in control. 
So our, as we study economics, um, we will be looking at things like, should I buy the extended warranty on my new TV? That's an economic decision. And we could use some of the principles that I just talked about to help us make that kind of a decision and make it make a make a good decision the one that will benefit us the most and we'll also talk about bigger questions like should i be worried about the national debt is uh, is the fact that the u.s federal government is trillions of dollars in debt is that something that i should be concerned about or is it just really not going to have much of an impact on my day-to-day -day life we'll look at questions like that as well um, for this first week, there are several assignments, and it's very important that in this first week you get your assignments in on time. Because of uh, U.S. Department of Education regulations, uh, Bay Path University will uh, administratively drop students who do not participate and get their assignments in in the first week. Uh, that's not that's not my role. That's not even Bay Path University's role. It's a U.S. Department of Education role. So there's really no flexibility with that. So you have um, two pre-class assignments. You have the uh, pre-economics assessment, kind of a little quiz to see where you're at in your knowledge of economics. And then there's a, a little pre-class paper, a one-page paper after you've watched the video to um, ask you, how do you see economics affecting your work and your life? And those assignments are due on June 20th. And then uh, we also have some assignments that are due on the um, on the day that we meet. Or I'm sorry, there's one more that's due on the 20th. There's uh, the Knowledge Path Reading Assignment Principles of Economics. That's due on June 20th. And then um, there's our online discussion forum. Again, that's due on June 20th. So quite a, quite a bit. They're all small assignments, though. So I'm sure you'll be able to get them done. And then we have our in-class discussion at 10 o'clock on Saturday morning. 10 o'clock beats 7.30. And um, you have a written assignment on the De Beers economic strategy, the diamond monopoly, interesting, interesting case study. And uh, finally, there is the uh, quiz, the principles of economics quiz. And the De Beers assignment and the qu principles of economics quiz, you have until 11.59 p.m. on the 22nd. So you could do those. You can take a look at those before class, see if you have any questions, and then finish them up after class if that is your preference. So if you have any questions or if there's any way that I could be helpful to you, please reach out to me. You can, you can reach out to me through Canvas, through BayPath email. Uh, I put my phone number there, so you could give me a call or you can send me a text message. Uh, it's an accelerated format, so I realize sometimes you might need a quick answer to a question. So uh, don't be afraid to um, send me a text message or give me a call if that is something that would be helpful to you. I look forward to seeing all of you on Saturday morning. Thank you.